guys, what is up? It's Alicia. So for today's video, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to edit on Movavi and show you guys a couple ways to make intros, how to use transitions, and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you don't know, Movavi is a great option for people who want to be famous on YouTube or people who want to make videos professionally. And it's a very simple and easy way to go about it, especially because of all the features that they have built in and the really simple interface to use. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the intro maker feature. I'm going to show you guys how to make an intro using the titles option and the green screen option. And I'm also going to be showing you guys transitions and a little bit about the Movavi effect store. So cool ways to add more to your videos if you decide that all of the stuff that Movavi already provides in the Movavi video editor isn't exactly enough. Add that if you guys want to try this out, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below where you can download it and try it out for free. It works on Windows 10, 8, and 7, Vista, and XP, and you can also get it on your Mac. So, you guys know that no matter what kind of computer you're editing with, you will still have an option to use Movavi, which is great. I also have a 30% off discount code, which I'll put on the screen right here. So, if you actually do want to go ahead and purchase it, you'll get 30% off, which is pretty great. So, make sure you check out Movavi and let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is their intro maker feature and I think this is really cool especially if you want to make a very professional looking intro but you're not able to do it yourself or you don't have time to or whatever reason. So when you open up Movavi you'll see in the top left corner I selected this feature which is just this play button and you have options to choose from their intro videos which is this option right here. And you guys can see that there are a ton of different intros options that are already pre-built into Movavi, meaning you don't have to buy extra packs. So if you just want to see what it looks like, you can click on the video and it's going to go ahead and play it in the screen over here. But I think I like this one, as you guys can see it playing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my video that I'm editing by dragging and dropping it. So now you're probably wondering, how do you edit it? So on this clip right here, you'll see this button that's selected in orange. Go ahead and click on that. And you go ahead and double click on this text option right here that comes up. And then you can go ahead and change what it says. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my channel name, which is iEditingX. And if you wanna change the font, you can go ahead and do that with this option right here, change the size, etc. And then once you have it how you like it, just go ahead and click apply. And if you want to see what it looks like, preview what it looks like before you accept it, you drag the bar back to the beginning and play. And that's what your intro ends up looking like. So once you have it how you like it, click apply and return. And that is their intro maker feature. And the next thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to make your own intro using the text options that they already have, like animated text and the green screen option they have. So to go ahead and do this, on this sidebar here, in the same category, there's also backgrounds and there's a bunch of stuff that you guys can choose from. You can also upload your own videos, but I just wanna go ahead and use one of these since they're pretty cute. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this blue gradient one in and you'll see that it comes up here. This is what it looks like. But I wanna change the color of it. And in order to do that, you're gonna click on your clip and you'll see it's outlined in yellow and go to this option here, which is your color adjustments tool and go to manual adjustments. And you'll see that there's an option for hue. So if you drag this little rectangle across the color bar, you'll see that you can change the color of it. So I'm gonna go for like a pinkish orange color because I think that would look nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my computer and I'm just gonna get a green screen and drag it and drop it into here. And then I'll show you guys how to go from there. Okay, so as you guys can see that this is a video I've already used. So it has like my intro in it and stuff. So in order to get rid of any audio, you're just gonna wanna click on this audio bar where all of these lines are. That's basically showing the audio and there's a garbage can here, you can click on that. And then what you can do is just drag this bar across to where your green screen starts. Click on the clip and there's gonna be these scissors tools. You're just gonna wanna click on that and delete it. And then You'll see right here, this is what I don't want. You can use the delete button on your computer or you can use the trash can button, whichever one you prefer. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the end, just getting rid of the extra stuff I don't want. Like the garbage can, oops. So I just made a mistake. If you wanna fix it, there's an undo button, but just click on the one clip and delete it. Okay, so now that I have my green screen, I'm gonna drag it and drop it on top of that clip. And I'm gonna drag the cursor to the end of the clip cut off the extra and delete it. 
And then now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the green screen option. So you'll see that there's this button here, which is a settings button, and that gives you all these different effects. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the chroma key option. So you're just gonna click on that, click apply, and this is what it ends up looking like. So it kind of doesn't look great. So there's actually an option to go fix that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix it how it looks best. Okay, so after adjusting everything, this is what it ends up looking like, which is a lot better. And I'm gonna click apply. And because I want it to look like the stars are more in the background, I'm gonna change the opacity from 100. I'll make it about 70 or 60 so that it looks like it's more in the background. And then we did the chroma key feature. So next, what I wanna do for this intro is add text. So on this sidebar here, you'll see there's an option for text. And there are a bunch of different things here. They have all of the options in one category, or if you wanna narrow it down, there are some featured options that they think would look great in your video. There are some intro text that you guys can use if you wanna make a nice intro, speech bubbles, and then you can actually download packages, but I'll get more into that later. I'm just gonna to go to the basic feature, and again, if you wanna see what something looks like, just click on it and it will play it on the screen. But I like this fly-in option, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose this. So all you have to do is drag it and drop it on top of this clip. And I'm just gonna shorten it. You can see that when you hover over the end of the clip, these two arrows come up and you can make it longer or shorter. I'm just gonna make it as short as the video. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the text, double click on this right here, and then go over and add my text, which says I editing X. Okay, so once I have my text, I might wanna change the font or the size, and I alluded to this a little bit earlier, but right here you'll see that there is an option for all the different text. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the one that I wanted to use, which is Parkway Lush. And this is just the font, and I wanna change this to uppercase, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My editing X, do I want that uppercase? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the size too because I think it looks a little small. So all you have to do is go to the numbers here, click the drop down menu and change the size. And since it's too large, I'm just gonna click and drag and fix that. And these lines pop up to help you put it and arrange it so that it's in the middle of your screen. And once you have it how you like it, you can go ahead and click apply. And so when you play this from the beginning, you guys can see that you have your own intro and it looks pretty cute. And of course you don't have to do something as like girly and stuff as this, but this is just one option for an intro. As you guys can see, there are a ton of different text options and backgrounds. So if you're looking for something more businessy or if you're looking for something more in a different realm, there are a ton of options for that. Okay, so a next feature I want to show you guys is their transition feature, which is really cool in my opinion. So when you go to this tab right here, this is all your transitions. You'll see that there are a lot of different transitions that you guys can use. Um, there's warp transitions that look like this, wiping transitions, there's a sliding door effect, pinwheel, page turns, there are a ton of different options. But another thing you guys can do is go ahead and download stuff. So this is one of the packs I downloaded. So when you go here, you guys can see that there are some more customized ones. So there's like a cooking option, which is really cool. Uh, and even some options that look like this. So in order to use a transition, all you're gonna do is click on it and drag it where it's in between two clips. And you guys can see this rectangle pops up. So when you play the clips, you get the transition effect. So that's an easy way to do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about the Movavi store and all these cool effects that you guys can go ahead and download and use in your videos. So like I was showing you guys a little bit of earlier, when you go to the Movavi effects store, there are a bunch of options that you guys can purchase and download to add more to your videos. So if there's something that you're looking for that you don't necessarily have or can't necessarily do, there's probably a set for it. So the one I have is the blogger set. So when you go on the website, you can click on it and you'll see that it will show you all the different things in this pack. You can watch the video about it, but if you just wanna get a preview, here are some of the 50 titles they have. There are a ton of different stickers, backgrounds, and transitions that they give to you in this package when you purchase it. And as you guys can see, these are some of the ones I've been actually using in my video. And so it's pretty inexpensive compared to the ones for like Final Cut, which is pretty nice. So you guys can get one of these sets and I'm gonna leave the link to the store down below. 
Um, there are also effects packs, which are a little bit cheaper, but if you're looking for like an intro pack, there are a few here, some stickers, a food blog pack. So you guys have a ton of different options and at a bunch of different price points, which is nice. So here are your options here for the Movavi effects store. So again, you guys can go ahead and download Movavi for free with the link down below and try it out for yourself. And if you wanna purchase it, I do have a discount code. So this is what it is if you guys want to go ahead and purchase. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, tuning in and seeing how to make an intro. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.